Hi guys, so I am so happy to announce the winner of my e.l.f. eyeshadow giveaway. You guys are so awesome for subscribing and your comments have been so just amazing. So in case you're wondering how I went about selecting my winner, I could not possibly have done it myself. That would have just been, I would have felt so bad for all of you who could not win it. So I decided to use random.org. Uh, to do a randomized list and then I selected the very first name at the top of that list and the winner of the seven piece elf eyeshadow set goes to Krupali of Girls Generation. Congratulations Krupali, I'm so excited for you. So I guess now is all I will need from you is your mailing address. So if you want to message that to me and I will get this out to you ASAP. And once again, congratulations. And if I had my way, all of you would have won something, um, which means that I'll just have to do more giveaways very soon. And I hope to do that very soon. So once again, congratulations to Kripali of Girls Generation. And thank you so much for subscribing and for entering my contest. You guys have just been so great. So now, today I want to do a different kind of video for my channel. My channel is very new, but one of my favorite things to do is create my own lip color using lipsticks that I already own or, or just finding a shade that's similar to a shade that I want and I don't have, and then I create it using eyeshadow. I thought a good idea would be to try and dupe Lime Crimes Cashmere. And so I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I think in my last video, my March favorites video, I forgot to insert a photo of the palette that I use a lot, and it's this MAC Studio palette. So I'll go ahead and insert that photo in this video since I'll be using this palette to create the lip look. Um, so basically the colors I'll be using today are number six. It's like a very matte mauve color and it looks like that. Not sure if you can see that but I will insert close-ups of the colors. And number nine, it's like a plummy metallic-y color. It does not have very much shimmer in it, so it should be great for recreating um, Lime Crime's dupe. And okay, so the car has passed, and so I showed you the eyeshadows that I'll be using for this lip look, and the next thing I'll be using is Jordana's Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade 02 Matte Blush. So this is going to be like our primer color, if you will. and. I love these lipsticks. I probably should have included this shade in my March favorites video, but today it will be serving its fabulous purpose. <laughs> um, oh, it smells so good. It smells like vanilla frosting. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this shade. It's a very like light, pinky, mauve nude. Let me back up. So I have primed my lips with my L'Occitane moisturizing lip balm because my lips are very chapped today and when I'm using matte lip colors it always makes my lips that much more chapped so it's always best to use like a lip balm that's moisturizing to throw underneath if you're wearing a lip stain or any sort of matte lipstick so so I have that on and I'm going to apply my Jordana I love this color it's just so it's just so flattering on so many different skin tones and I think for spring and summer it's just the perfect shade to wear every day or even with a smoky eye for nighttime. I just think it's so beautiful. So okay so I have the matte lip shade down and now I am going to and you know what I forgot to lip line my lips. So I'm gonna do that now using Jordana's Rock and Rose. I mentioned this in my March Favorites video. Oh, 
Okay. And we are lined, so... Now, the fun part. So, I'm using a MAC concealer brush, but any lip brush or concealer brush will work flawlessly, darlings. And I'm taking number six in this palette, the Mavi, the Mavi Matte color here, and I'm just going to lay that down on top of the lip color. See already how it's making the shine in the lips go away? Because it's matte. And it might go on because it is a shadow. It might go on a little bit patchy, but it's super easy to blend with your lip brush. See how the color is deepening already? It's getting very close to cashmere. So I have applied the mauve eyeshadow on top of the Jordana matte, Ro what was it? Jordana, Jordana, Jordana matte blush. So I have applied the mauve shade of eyeshadow on top of Jordana's matte blush and it's already deepening up into that cashmere type shade. And now I'm going to use number nine here. Number nine. Just to kind of deepen up the look a little bit. Okay, so. I have applied the mauve and the plummy color shade on my lips and this is the finished look and you can do this really with any lips someone walking by so this is the finished look and like I was saying you can do this with any sort of lipsticks that you already own or any eyeshadow palettes that you have and just create your own shade of lipstick. Uh, there's really no need to go out and buy all of these things that cost a lot of money just so you can have the latest trend. It's, I mean, you can, it's fun to do that, but um, you can also recreate your own looks at home using things that you already have. So that was the purpose of this video, is to show you how to do that. And if you have any questions at all, please be sure to ask me uh, in the comment box below. And I hope you guys liked today's video. And let me know if you want me to do more types of these. I'm out of breath. <sighs> you are a fast dog. Yes. So let me know if you would like me to do more of these types of videos. I'm sure it's coming up. And I will be sure to work on those for you guys. And yeah. Oh, I'm loving this color. And I actually really like it with this eyeshadow that I have on. I'm using the e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow in Bark, I believe is the name of it. Um, and that's, I don't have any eyeliner or mascara on or anything like that. Um, I do have on a bit of foundation and a cream, um, a cream blush. That's what I was trying to say. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you like it. I think that this lip is a very good dupe for cashmere's lime or lime crimes cashmere <laughs> lippy and you can do this with really any lipstick or eyeshadow and I hope you guys like it I hope to do more videos very soon and once again congratulations to crew poly of girls generation I'm so excited for you to win this gift set and be sure to send me your mailing info so that I can get that to you uh, this week and Yes, in case you can't see on my lips because of the very beautiful bright sun, I'll go ahead and get a little bit closer so you can see. That's the lip color up close, and I will go ahead and insert a snapshot of it as well, and I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys all have a beautiful day, and I will see you soon. Bye.
the ashes. Are people talking down there? And there's a car. So we're gonna wait a moment. I let her so dry. Oh my gosh. They're healing her so dry. And yes, so once again, thank you to Girls' Generation for entering my giveaway. Oh, I have an itch. <laughs> well, and the trick to this, because the eyeshadows can be drying to your lips, the trick is to really have um, a lip balm on the top. The trick is to have a lip balm on underneath. And my dog just escaped. I'll be right back.